What's up everyone, Kawaii Ku here, here to react to episode 10 of Beastars Season 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, here we go, episode... Episode 10 of Beastars Season 2. No, I, I think tomatoes, isn't that like a fruit for like all seasons? I mean, I thought... <laughs> I didn't think you eat tomatoes on specific on a specific season. Oh, what a chill, dude. All oh, makes you forget that he ate one of his best friends. All makes you forget that he gave the main character a concussion. He has COVID! Oh. That a hey, man, that's pretty sus. I didn't mention this in my reaction to that episode, but. Um, I've heard, I've seen speculation that the scene where, uh, you know, Tem appeared to have accepted his fate, uh, that might have been a hallucination. Like, it wasn't until after, like, at first I was confused when I first saw that scene, but it wasn't until after I saw, like, it wasn't until after I recorded live reaction and saw the Reddit discussion threads that I've seen people saying... That that scene might be a hallucination, like from Riz to kind of like cope with Tem's murder, him killing Tem. I guess help deal with the the trauma. So, and that that honestly, I think that kind of makes sense. Ah. Uh -huh. What friendship? He's dead. <laughs> the perverted wolf. Because at the end of the day, you're still a male. <laughs> that moment when your waifu is real. Everyone's focused on your relationship. Also, it's disappointing. Like, Legosi is considering himself a pervert. Riz considers, considers him a pervert. 
but he has not done anything to Haru. He hasn't even gone so much as kissed her. Like, yeah, they almost did bang at se like back in season one, but other than that, nothing. Legosi has done nothing. It's kind of disappointing, I must say. I mean, I guess they did hold hands, so I guess that would be considered perverted, but still. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. It's still cute. Yeah, I think that is, actually. Wow, what? <laughs> that's... That, yeah, that's a... Uh, interesting way of putting it. Uh Then why don't you just do it then? What's keeping you? What, are you afraid that you're gonna so-called give in to your lust? Oh, come on, that is old news. Hmm. This dude. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be honest. You know, Pina, see, considering that Pina is a, like like this cocky little shit, uh, I have big doubts. Um, I highly doubt that, that he's actually in love with this girl. What? Oh! Ow! Come on, bro. That's a rookie mistake. How do you not even remember her name?
How did you even sneak up on him like this? Do you know? Do you even know how big you are? That's, uh, wait, Caroni, is that you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was intense. Man, I think this just goes to show that Riz, I mean, Riz is even more of a bigger threat than we thought. Because that is the first time that we've seen Pina, like, that's the first time we've seen Pina scared. Like, he was legitimately terrified throughout that whole exchange. Like, before, he was acting all cocky and shit around... Riz, but now, oh man, that facade is gone. I, you could say, flush down the toilet, going down the drain. Oh shit, once again, the same room as the murderer! A scene with double meaning. A fucking desert eagle. God damn, the carnivore Yakuza don't play around. And by shoot, he means apparently just blast his brains out of his skull. Every bit of gray matter out of his skull. That, like just put a hole the size of, the size of a tennis ball into his head.
Oh. Oh, shit. So, Lagosi's gonna have to go with this plan no matter what. Oh, shit. Is this part of the plan? Yeah, he's different in more ways than one. That's your chance, Lagosi. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Oh shit. Wow, that is one strong jar of honey. Oh my god! They about to throw hands! Or in this case, claws. Oh my god. This is where Lagosi has to really put his training to the test. Oh, he got a light. Oh, he oh he landed a hit on you. Dude, you have two eyes. You'll be fine. Just that is one strong jar of honey. You know, I just love you, my moral debates in between fights. You just gotta love them. You just gotta love them. Y'all love it when two strong characters both both fight and argue about morals. Man, Riz putting fingers in his mouth, feet in his mouth. He's one kinky bear, I must say.
How thick is that glass door? She isn't even like I'm pretty sure you could just you should still be able to see the blood. But he's not. And that will, that's what makes him so interesting. But at the same time, it could argue it could be argued that you're not a simple protagonist. You're not a simple hero, Lagosi. Ooh, he's New Year's Eve? How long is that? How long do you guys will you guys have to wait? Is that like two weeks away, a couple of days away? Which is it? Yeah, you almost ate a herbivore in more ways than one. I wouldn't say that. Yo, that was a fucking great episode. Oh, man. So we finally get another encounter between Riz and Lagosi. I'm feeling that a, a couple episodes from now we're gonna get the last encounter, I'd imagine, from Riz and Lagosi. But this this episode was definitely had a lot of Riz focus. Which, again, I don't really mind at all, considering that he is a great antagonist. He is such a great antagonist. He's strong. He's intimidating. He's downright terrifying. But yes, but yet, he has such a twisted yet interesting mindset. I'm still wondering what Pina's, what what his plan is because, like he he made the invitation for Riz, so, but now Riz and Lagosi are fighting. So, yeah, I'm still wondering what exactly kind of role he's gonna have, in this whole ordeal. But yeah, again, man, that was a fucking great episode of V Star Season Two. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Patreon. Links are in the description down below. And I will see you next time.